Every five seconds of every day, a Boeing 737 takes off or lands somewhere in the world. But a year-long investigation by Al Jazeera indicates that for 10 years, Boeing has been warned about the safety of more than 1,500 of these planes and that it has ignored its own evidence. Nobody cared about the safety aspect. It was all about money. It was all about being lean and making parts as, as inexpensively as possible for Boeing. According to claims made in a U.S. federal court case, aircraft in the 737 Next Generation series, made between 1996 and 2004, were fitted with bogus, ill-fitting, and illegal parts. These are the parts of airplanes that if they fail, um, we can have catastrophic events. We can have, um, we can have a decompression at altitude. Boeing began building the 737 next generation in 1996. But former Boeing employees discovered evidence that parts being delivered by a contractor, AHF Ducommon, were faulty. Boeing has dismissed the whistleblower's allegations as without merit. But Al Jazeera has discovered documents which appear to contradict that statement. The first is a draft internal Boeing memorandum which warned the company's senior management that the potential for parts failure was too strong to ignore. The severity of these conditions is documented via photographs and poses a quality risk to the production of quality airplane parts. The integrity of AHF Ducommon as a partnered supplier places the Boeing company at risk. The second set of documents are from an investigation carried out on behalf of the U.S. military by the Federal Defense Criminal Investigative Service in 2002. These also appear to confirm some of the whistleblower's allegations about faulty parts being installed on the 737NG. July 2, 2002, I visited the Boeing Company, Seattle, looked at installed bear straps and fail-safe cords, gap conditions, short edge distance on fasteners. The preload, internal stress on parts to get them to fit on some of these components could be problematic. The program also reports claims by the whistleblowers that the allegedly faulty parts were implicated in three recent accidents in which 737NGs broke into pieces. The airplane's not designed to fall apart like that. It should have absorbed that stress and the people that, that were slightly injured wouldn't have been injured. The aircraft should not have broken up in your view? Absolutely should not. The whistleblowers allege that the official regulatory body, the Federal Aviation Administration, has repeatedly failed to carry out a proper investigation into the problem. The investigation by um, the FAA was, um, it was laughable. It was really laughable. Uh, and they concluded uh, at the end of it that there was not a problem, close the investigation and aircraft safety experts speaking publicly for the first time have told the program of their fears that the allegedly defective parts could cause a major disaster. I am very seriously concerned about a catastrophic cabin failure, structural failure at altitude. And I think, unfortunately, will be a smoking hole in the ground. That's something the whistleblowers say they've been fighting to avoid. Tim Tate, Al Jazeera. Well, Al Jazeera did ask Boeing and the FAA to respond to the allegations. Both declined to give an interview but released statements. Boeing dismissed the whistleblower's case as being without merit and said the company's planes have an excellent safety record. The FAA said it believes the planes are safe to fly.